Royal Air Force parades for the presentation of its first King's Colour on the birthday of the great lady who was Queen when it was born. In the King's absence, the heiress presumptive, Princess Elizabeth, will make the presentation in his name. With the Royal Party in position, the Royal Air Force salutes the King. Now in a Land Rover, Princess Elizabeth moves off to inspect the 2,500 men and women on parade. Unfortunately, once again, the RAF's out of luck with the weather, and the RAF are wearing their new caps too. A blinding squall strikes as Princess Elizabeth hands the colour to Flying Officer Mullarkey. The colour escort of 180 includes representatives of every RAF organisation in Britain. In the King's message, which the Princess reads, is this tribute. During the dark days of 1940, when my people stood alone to defend the cause of freedom, the Royal Air Force played the foremost part in turning the tide which led to ultimate victory. And now, for the first time, the Royal Air Force in Britain dips its first King's Colour in salute to the Sovereign who can be there only in his thoughts.